This video will show you how to correctly perform inspections to the jet pump on a Rotax inboard jet package assembly. These procedures are specific to the Rotax Fortec 1503 series package and should be used as a general reference. Use this information in conjunction with the specific information contained in the Rotax inboard jet package service manual. Check the condition of the impeller, impeller boot, and wear ring from underneath the hull through the inlet grate. Check for contact between the impeller boot and drive shaft guard. Replace the impeller boot and inspect the drive shaft guard for wear if contact is found. When removing parts, always check for damage, corrosion, excessive wear, defective plating, water damaged metal parts, etc. And replace the damaged parts. Check the clearance and end play where applicable to detect excessive wear. Remove the jet pump as shown in the reverse gate Venturi at jet pump removal and installation video. Also refer to jet pump in the correct service manual. Impeller to wear ring clearance is critical for jet pump performance. Use a feeler gauge to measure the clearance between the impeller blade tips and wear ring. Measure each blade at its center. The maximum wear clearance for all models is 0.014 of an inch or 0.35 millimeters. Radio play is critical to the jet pump lifespan. Make sure the impeller shaft turns freely and smoothly. Fasten the housing in a soft jaw vise. Be sure not to damage the housing lug. Set a dial gauge and position its tip onto the metal end close to the end of the impeller hub. Move the shaft end up and down. The difference between the highest and lowest dial gauge reading is radial play. Radial play should be zero. Excessive play is caused by a worn bearing or damaged jet pump housing bearing surface. Inspect the jet pump housing and stator. Ensure there is no damage to the stator and that it is clean and free of any debris. Inspect the condition of the bushings. Replace as needed. Check the condition of the neoprene seal. Replace as required. Perform a leak test after completing any repair on the jet pump. Refer to jet pump in the correct service manual. Install pressure cap and vacuum pressure pump as shown. Pressurize the pump to a maximum of 10 PSI. The pump must maintain this pressure for at least five minutes. If there is a pressure drop, spray soapy water around the cover. If there are no bubbles, the impeller shaft and impeller shaft seal must be replaced. Note, two or three bubbles coming out from the seal on the impeller side is acceptable. Leaks from the other areas must be repaired. Notice, repair any leak. Failure to correct a leak will lead to premature wear of the pump components. Disconnect the vacuum pressure pump and remove the pressure cap. Reinstall the impeller cover. Refer to impeller cover in the correct service manual.